Today, I'm going to show you a door that will only open to you and no one else. It's easily built in survival and, in my opinion, is one of the most secure doors you can ever make in Minecraft. So, let's see how it all works then. So, here we are at Sark's vault. So that's my vault um, and I don't want anyone else getting in, so only I can get into this vault. So, here's my, here's my secretary, Mandy. This is Mandy, the, uh, my secretary. Um, now, I haven't seen her in a while, so I'm going to uh, freshen her memory and she will promptly let me into my vault where I can store all my diamonds, my precious beacon block, my gold, everything. Um, and then I can go back up here and open the door again. There we go. So, let me show you a different system. Now, Word's gotten around about my amazing system, and Barry has asked the manufacturers to make one for himself. So I want to get in there because he's got loads of valuables, so I'm going to try and threaten his secretary, Bob. So let's ask Bob. But Bob knows that I am not Barry, so he's not going to let me into the vault. Now this is actually all based on something that was changed in the most recent snapshot. Basically, before, when you went in a minecart and you logged out, what would happen is you would not be in the minecart anymore. So that was changed. But something else that was changed is this actually works with mobs as well. So mobs will stay in minecarts if you log in, log out, go out the chunk, whatever. Um, and that's what's key here. So what we have here is a wolf in a minecart. So the way this works is what we have is a mob. It can be any mob. And you hit the mob, and this sends the wolf into hunt mode. He wants to kill that thing. But there's actually only there's actually only a, a small area around the mob which will attract the wolf when he's in a minecart. So these two green blocks here are the only blocks that will attract the wolf. So I'll show you. You can see he's moving, and the light comes on. But then, once I'm off these blocks, he won't come back because I'm not in that range anymore. So I'll try to show you again. Okay, he's coming towards me. Okay, and then he's going to hit this uh, booster rail, bounce back off and go back to his starting position. Um, like I said, this works with any mobs. And the good thing, the cool, the cool thing about this is that wolf will actually remember this. So we don't actually have to hit that mob again. So... For example, if I hide this here between two walls, like I created two walls here and I was walking here, this door will actually only open for me because that wolf is mine. It won't open for anyone else because that dog doesn't care about someone else. It's not their dog. Um, so if someone called Barry, for instance, was stood here, that dog wouldn't be moving because even though he's in the range, it's not his dog. Um, now this actually works for cats as well, oddly enough, it does work, it works exactly the same way for cats, so it doesn't have to be a dog. Um, so just a little example of the um, the range, so there's the, the whichever mob, and here are the two locations where you have to be standing. Um, and that's basically it really, it's, it's a really, really secure system because no one else can get in, and it could be used for things like factions or something for example you could set up say you had five members in your faction you could set up one of these for each of the members or a club or something um and only club members could get in or what you could do is if you have an enemy um, and he has a dog or a cat you could steal one of the dogs or cats or breed them so that you have one of their dogs put it in a system like this and only they and if you want a trap you could set a trap that will only be set off by them and no one else um, and this is obviously completely doable in survival and it's very easy to do in survival it's not complicated and yeah um, also the last thing I want to note is that this has a range of about 136 blocks so if I'm over here uh, this isn't, isn't actually 136 blocks away but if I punch this one and go here you'll see the light comes on so it, it's really it's really cool um so like i said it's very it's got a very very wide range um i've used it for the player specific detector but i'm sure you, there are other uses for it so yeah 
If you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a rating, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Um, and this is Barry's cat, by the way, so I'll just show you that it doesn't work because the cat doesn't care. So he stood, stood in the, the green position here. And as you can see, the cat doesn't move because it's not ours. So, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.